I've had a day. That's all you need to know. And now I've made myself these two lobsters, the butter. I've decorated myself as such. And I'm, I'm here for it. This is what's going to help. I always get the little pieces first, the little legs. A lot of people don't even eat these. But you get the meat inside and the juice. And I get it first because they get cold fastest. That is my dog chewing on a tennis ball right there. Mm. See? There's meat in there. People don't even think there's meat in there. There's little bits of meat. I do like my makeup today. I gotta say, I love it. This is how I feel most me. It's just how I like to portray myself with makeup. That's a stick of butter. It's drawn butter. So lobster has been my favorite food, along with crab legs, like them competing. Since I was like seven. And I used to love it so much as a kid that I made a book about it. And I still have the book. Life's been really hard for me lately. It's like, um, no day is ever easy. It's always me, um, pulling myself back out of it and, like, um, out of the bad emotions and just keep ignoring it and, or just, like, moving on and just, like, 
constant knocking, re-knocking down, getting back up again, is so tiring. Lobster shells are very fascinating to me. I was wondering if a claw would make a cute earring. Fireworks. I do want to do more research on lobsters and why um, they cost so much. I got a claw for you, you Ma. Alright. I'll just put that on the side for her. She just wanted a little taste of lobster. She's not that much of a a fish eater at all. She barely likes fish at all. Um, so I want to know why um, lobsters in captivity are so hard. I know fishing is difficult, but growing them in captivity, I want to know about that. I don't know exactly what they eat. I think when they're in the ocean, they eat like um underwater worms and um I don't know what else. I wonder how old these lobsters are too, like how old until they grow, like full size for eating. I used to love lobsters so much. I used to joke about, oh, let's have a, a tank where we just breed them. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. But I want to know about the farmers who do.
How do you raise lobsters? How long does it take? What do you feed them? What conditions? I'm interested in all of that. Beekeeping has been very interesting to me for a while. <clears throat> I'm very fascinated by the hives, the wax with the, um, you know, and they make the little hexagons, I think, or octagons, whatever they make. Just how it all works and all the benefits there is to honey and beeswax and bees in our environment. I feel like it's just like a win-win-win. I don't know if there's downsides to beekeeping. We might as well be being like around you and the neighbors and stuff. Maybe getting stung, but like for the environment, I'm not sure if it, um, if it, uh, causes an imbalance or anything. I think I've only heard of it helping because we've been having like a bee shortage type of thing. Where it's like the bees are dying and everything you hear is like, save the bees. I would love to beekeep. I'm not an area for it. And it looks pretty labor intensive with, um, you know, you have to suit up and um but, but you know what it's obviously worth it because it's such a cool thing it's probably just not for me I like to plant lots of flowers and lavender to help the bees. Um, I'm gardening a lot. I'm going to show my garden soon. I have so much. So many things growing, I'm so excited. I think it's always great to grow herbs because it's so easy to do and they're so flavorful. It makes such a diff big difference to your food.
All right. One more tiny leg. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna get into the fun stuff. Get my hair out of the way. There's a gill. The water's going to come out. Watch when you open this. Yep. I always get the lobster in the, in the little bit. The little. That little groove. I make sure I try to get every bit of lobster. Where? Where did I put the cracker things? If they're over here on the table. <sighs> I told you it's not my day. Why? Yeah, I can't find the little cracker things. I yeah, I know. <laughs> Set them down somewhere. Well, maybe I'll use these. I don't get it. I had them right here. use these scissors but yeah oh these are nice people think these are for the garden they're for the kitchen but it cut through that very nicely see it was a blessing in disguise the universe said hey you needed to know this other use for these scissors. I'm trying not to cut myself on those pricks. It's like so... Is lobster meat. I've got my butter here. 
That's how I eat it, this little bit first, because I like to savor it. Mm. I love lobster meat. It's gotta be my favorite food. I just can crab meat. This is the best. Mm, I'm in heaven. It's so sweet. I love sweet seafood. Shellfish is always so sweet, usually. <sighs> Stolen from Joe's Crab Shack. Focus. People do that. Does that make it focus? <laughs> Whatever. That dog's looking my elbow. Ruined my beautiful makeup. I like to have a a rag or something to grip onto the shells with because of all the spikes. I feel like I got lobster on my nose or something. I think I did probably wipe off some of my beautiful makeup. Alright, here I go. Got it. Here's this piece. I don't know. You get it, it's lobster. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I saved the rubber bands. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, these old work. Yeah, these are okay. Sometimes they're, I don't. Ready? One, two. Oh. Not a lot of liquid in this one. Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, there's that little bit of meat in here. Of course my dog has to run over, did I drop something?
Mm -hmm. Okay. Brina, go lay down. Look in the floor. All right, I think this all come out, right? Hold on. All right, it didn't come out. Thought it was gonna be a real satisfying piece. Go on. Go lay down. Go. Good girl. She said, I'm going to turn around and then I'm going to turn back around and just lay right where I am. <laughs> Lobster can be dangerous. Oh. Okay, finally. Go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Is this fat or like just like gelatin and gelatin like? lobster from the shell or something. It tastes like meat. <clears throat> All right. 
God, I love lobster. It tastes so good. <laughs> My mom's sleeping in the other room and she woke up just to hear me say that. I better not see this on, like, New York Fashion Week without recognition. That will never focus. Mmm. Lobster. Mmm. There we go. This lobster's cracking real easy. All right. Female. That means lucky you. She gets row. Yeah, I don't eat the row. You do. Actually, she, I don't know if she's had this before. I've given it to all my other dogs. I'm not sure if she's ever had it before. I, don't, I actually don't think she has. She might have. Who knows, but not in my memory. Unless I did it last year and I just forgot or whatever. Because it's been a long time since I've had lobsters, whole lobsters. Fireworks. I even look in this part for meat. Cause like, look at this. You get a little bit. A little sum sum. Oh. All right, back to the tail. All right, pull this back. And there is the row. All, ugh. All in one piece. Brina, there you go. And she liked it. She spit it 
Oh, well, every, everything new she spits out and then, yep, she ate it. <laughs> spits it out, looks at it, and then she's like, yeah, this is good. See? <laughs> oh my gosh. Tail. Oh. Get the vein out first. Oh boy. Mm. It's just such a sweet, like fish. It's like so, I love shellfish and this is my favorite of it. Mm. Mom, you want your claw? No, not really. Alright. <sighs> Alright, let's see if you got lucky and this one's a female. You did get lucky! It's a lot more row in this one than last one. I'll tell you, there's a tiniest bit of meat. Okay, that got in my eye. Alright. Oh my god, there's a lot of row in this one. Look at you! Alright. First, let me just... <laughs> Keep squirting all over my face. Or splashing. Alright. One chunk of row. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. Ooh, this is a big lobster tail. Wow. Look at all the row. It's going all the way down the tail. Wow. And then I take out, you take out this little bit. It's like a little vein, poop vein thing. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, surprisingly enough, I don't like the um the green. <clears throat> Tried to get myself to like it. Because I love lobster, but mm, not a big fan. Maybe if it was like in a stir fry rice or something. But just on its own, no. Not, not, it's not terrible. Like, I used to rinse off it, like, in the water. Like, my lobster tails. Now, it doesn't bother me, but I don't like it. Alright, let me give her this giant chunk of roe. How many eggs do you think that is? Alright. There you go, baby. Oops, spit it out. <laughs> now she's eating it. No, eat mine. She's licking the floor, she likes it so much. Now this long chunk that was going all down the tail. Here, baby. <laughs> Her eyes bugged. <laughs> oh, she just gobbled that right up. She didn't spit that out. She's like, oh, I like this. fireworks are for. Happy Juneteenth, everyone. <sighs> Here's my lobster tail. Mmm. This is the weight of my heart. Lobster. Lobster and crab legs. Mmm. So succulent and juicy. Mm. I like to savor it, it's so good. My last big bite of lobster.
So now that I've eaten all the good pieces of lobster, here's where I get desperate and go into the body. Take off this top shell. And oh boy, Miss Brina, more row. There's some little chunks over right here too. <clears throat> What's the green called again? Tamale. A tamale like a corn thing? Cause in my head, I was wondering, I was, um, this whole time I'm thinking, what's the name for these? I'm like, tamale. Yeah. But, that's the corn thing. Yeah. Mm. They call it the tamale. I think this is, yeah, this is fat, so it's, that, is that really fat, or is that what, what, like? A liver or something? Or? No, 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 I mean like the white stuff around oh, it. that's fat, yeah. So, so this lobster is pregnant up to the brains. Wow. Well, they do like thousands of eggs. So I'm just digging in here, giving it to Brina. Uh -huh. There's another one. And there's meat inside here where you took the legs off. You pull each one off. There's a little bit of meat right at the base. I'm just going to pull out this chunk. Start going in. Is that what I mean? Yep. Sometimes I get confused. It all looks the same as the gills. Look similar. I'm like, is that meat or a gill? Oops. See, you can get a good chunk of meat out of here. People don't even open the body. Like, look at this. People don't even go in here. I've been around people who eat lobsters who don't go in the body. And I'm like, give me that. And they do because they're like, whoa, I don't even know there's meat in here. And then I show them. And they're like, that's too much work. <laughs> or they're grossed out by the tamale. Oh, that landed in the butter.
it. I totally understand why people don't even go in the body, but because it's so tedious. It's hard to see what's what. I got shell in my mouth. Well, eating a lobster is time consuming if you take the time to eat all the meat. <sighs> now, this guy, this girl, man, lady. Okay. Now, let's lift. All right, here's another chunk of row for Brina. A big chunk. More. And more. There you go, baby. There's no more.
guess his army. There we go. Thank you for watching this very important event and have a good night.